So I have the Hisense Vida Smart TV and in today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to use a USB flash drive on this TV. So you can have your movies here, you can have photos and even audio files, MP3 songs, stuff like that. And you can use them on your Vida Smart TV. So what you need to do is just plug in this USB flash drive to the back of your TV. Now this particular one is the 4K 43 inch. This has two USB ports. Yours might have one or maybe even more, okay? So the first thing you have to do is simply plug in this USB flash disk. Now this flash disk has to be formatted in the FAT32 file system. Most of them are by default, so it shouldn't be a problem unless you tampered with the flash disk before. But if it's in FAT32 file system, it should work with no problem. So just plug it in. I have two USB ports here. I'll just put it on the upper one. And once I plug it in, it should say the USB flash disk is now connected, as you can see. So once that is connected, to access your flash disk, simply go to your remote and press input and then look for the input device, this one. So this is the name of my flash disk and you can see that uh, logo there, meaning USB. Press OK and we are now inside the USB flash disk. Now here I have some folders. So for instance, this is a folder. I can open it and look at the contents of that folder. So I have uh, some photos here, which I can look at. So that's one photo. And then I can go back and go back again and look at other folders. And I also have some videos here. Now you need to be careful with the video formats because some videos like this one will say file not supported. Okay. So when you're recording a movie or when you're putting a movie into the flash disk, just make sure the format is okay. This one will watch for instance. This is so in today's tech tip. So you, you might have heard that was a very we just reduced the volume here. So this one plays, okay, and it's an MP4 video. And some won't. So that is basically how to use your USB flash disk on the Hisense Vida Smart TV. Now I'm gonna leave a video, I mean, I'll leave a list of all the supported file file types in the description below, so make sure you check it out. That's going to show all the file types that are supported for images, audio, and also video. Thanks for watching, comments and questions down below, and good luck.